So one thing that my husband always fusses at me about is I love to be barefoot. Love it. I mean, I just like to be barefoot. And I'm always in flip-flops. And that was fine living in the city, but out here, there's all kinds of weird, gross things you can step in. Like chicken food. Welcome back to Oso oh Farm. Today we have a really fun video for you. We are going to be talking to you about some really great rain boots and work boots. And also we are going to be introducing you to each puppy individually and we are going to be assigning them a color and a name and getting their weight. So a week leading up to the birth, we started taking Luna's temperature. And last time around, that really worked well. Her temperature dropped the day she gave birth. And so we had that same experience this time. Brian was taking her temperature every morning and every evening, and it dropped the morning, Wednesday morning. Her temperature dropped by two degrees, and so we kept a really close eye on her that day. And um, she and Belle have been sleeping in the house anyways the last few weeks and so we kept her close she actually was in our master bathroom and nothing really happened when we went to bed and then at 12 45 we woke up to noises of babies crying and at that point she had had two babies and at that point evan had woken up and so i was kind of managing evan it was hard to get him back to sleep because Luna was being loud and then the new noise of all the babies crying. So Brian stayed up with Luna helping her and then we finally went to sleep thinking that we were done at about 3.45. And at that point there were only four puppies so we assumed that she might have some more when we woke up. And when we woke up, I peeked in there and there were 10. It goes round and round. It's a dizzying day. I would give love to get away. It's getting real dark in here. Feels like I've been here a thousand. They were born on Thursday morning, and today is Sunday afternoon, actually Sunday evening. So we get a lot of requests from different companies for us to review products on our vlog, and up until this point, we have not done that yet. We wanted to make sure that a product that we reviewed was something that we would actually use here, and also something that we researched, and, I, and it showed that it had good reviews and good quality. So today, we're gonna to be talking to you about high C boots, and I'll link all the information below. 
but we actually were already in a place that we were going to buy some work boots for me, Brian, Evan, and then now that we've tried them out, we are going to use our special coupon code and buy some more for our kids. So after we've worn them for a couple of days, and just tried them out on the farm, we definitely are impressed and are going to purchase more. So stick around after the puppies are weighed and we will talk to you more about the individual boots that we got and what we've experienced with, the, experienced with them here on the farm. Okay, so the things that I'm using today for the puppy weigh-in, I will link below. We bought this on Amazon, this pet scale from Greater Goods and it is bigger than our last scale. We were using a digital kitchen scale last time and trying to fit the puppies in a little bowl. And if you're familiar with Pyrenees, that actually didn't work. Rather quickly, they grow very fast. So here's the scale. And then we used these last time. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this, but this Safety Pet ID collar, we are going to we'll assign them a color and then give them a name. So prior to the puppies being born, we surveyed all of our immediate family and got everyone's guesses for date and number of puppies. And if you won, you got to name the theme of the puppies. So if you have followed our vlog, you know that Luna's last litter, Christopher, my son-in-law won, and he chose the theme of Bluebell ice cream flavors. So that was really fun. We kept our bell for Bluebell. Um, so my Emma, my oldest daughter, Daniel's mommy, she won and she chose Disney princes and princesses. So that should be really cute and really fun. I think we had mixed reviews on her theme choice, but I personally think it is going to be precious. This is Jasmine, Princess Jasmine. She is dark purple. She weighs one pound, five ounces. Oh, she's gonna just go to sleep. Good girl. This is a little boy. So this will be Aladdin. They're okay, Luna. And we're going to give, we are going <laughs> to give Aladdin a dark blue color. Luna is the sweetest mommy. She is not playing y'all. Okay. Is it zeroed out? Let's see. Okay. Be still mama. Her. Be still. Look at that. <laughs> okay, how do we do this then if he, Luna, stop. Let's set that up. I would say 1.5. 1. 1. Okay. Yeah. Everett, come here. I know. You got him? Bell. Luna. I'm sorry, Luna. Do y'all do that with your kids at the end of the I day? Know. I'm like, you know who I'm talking about or two, just, Evan, come help me. Yeah. Come sit here. No. Oh. We're done with this? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness, this is a little girl. You feel oh. tiny. Okay, so we've done Jasmine and Aladdin. Oh, you're gonna be, oh my goodness. You're gonna be, so, oh. Cinderella. It's quite a name for such a tiny little thing. But Cinderella definitely yeah. needs this pink. Little collar, look at her, she's so sweet. Okay. She felt tinier to me. Yeah, 1.4. Okay, this is another little girl. She also feels, it's okay. She feels really light to me. So this is gonna be Anna. And she is gonna be dark purple, which I don't see dark purple. There's not a dark purple. So she is going to be purple. So Jasmine is dark. And she's going to be like a lavender. It's hard to keep. Oh, you know what? She has that little dark. She's trying to eat my hand. 
that little dark marking like one of them had. Girlfriend is hungry. Okay, she definitely is 1.4 or less. Yep, 1.4. You need to eat some dinner. You're so light. Oh, goodness. Big yawns. You, my friend. Oh, but you're a rough and tumble boy. You feel heavy. Okay, I know. So this is going to be Prince Charming, Cinderella's Prince, and he is going to be he's okay. Light blue. All right, Prince Charming. He also has the little gray. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! You fussy. Okay. He feels a little bit bigger. Ooh, you're the big boy. 1.8. You're one and a half pound. Oh, that's the, what we all do. We all yawn. He's okay. Let's hand him to Everett. He's okay. You got him? Oh, boy. Let's see. Another little boy. Oh, you're a snuggler. This is Kristoff. Prince through marriage. <laughs> um, oh goodness, he's gonna be this fun. Oh my goodness. They have that little puppy breath, so sweet. This kind of lime green. Okay, I bet you're one seven. 111? Is that right? You're the biggest boy now, Prince Charming. Oh my goodness. Oh, their little faces are so precious. Luna is stressed. We gotta hustle up so she can relax. So that is, oh, I called him the wrong name already. It's gonna take me a while to remember what color is what name. This is a little girl. So this will be Tiana from Princess and the Frog, and she will be this like bright pink. So I'm gonna change this to hot pink. Oh goodness, Tiana. Girlfriends are wiggly. She feels very, very, very tiny. So she is 1.6. So we are missing Prince Naveen. Is that right? Tiana's Prince. And then Elsa and Aurora. So one more boy. Oh, he has a cute face. Is this a boy? This is a girl. So this is Elsa. She is going to be yellow. She feels pretty light. Oh my gosh. You're a big girl. 1.9. You're a big, she doesn't feel 1.9. You're a big girl. 1.9. This is Aurora. She is going to be orange. She feels a little bit lighter than Elsa. We'll see. I did good at gauging it in the middle at the beginning. Okay, she is 1.5. Yeah, you're a little bit lighter. Good girl. Good job. And then we just have Prince Naveen. He is going to be this green. Okay, this is Prince Naveen. He feels maybe a little bit 1.5, that seems to be the theme. I love you. Is that all of Yeah. Okay, so the smallest was 1.4. We had two girls, Cinderella and Anna were 1.4. We had a lot at 1.5, and then our largest was light green. Was that was Kristoff at 1.11 pounds? We put them all back.
Okay, so it's good to know how much the puppies weigh. That'll give us a good gauge on if they're eating well and growing and we can kind of keep track of their progress. Please subscribe to our channel so that you can also follow along with their progress this summer. They grow very quickly. It's really fun to watch them progress. So back to the boots. I picked out these rain boots with chickens on them. I'm gonna take it off so you can see it better. These rain boots have a glossy coating. They're very easy to hose off and the bottom has this chunky slip resistant sole that really helps. The inside have a soft material so even if you're wearing short socks like ankle socks like I am and even in shorts I don't think you'd have to worry at all about blisters. With the hose they hosed right off. I was able to walk through the puddles and the pasture and walk through the tall grass and not worry at all about the snakes. I chose these really bright bold pair because I thought it was really fun and there's actually quite a few different options to choose from so you definitely should if you're looking for just rain boots too or work boots these are a really fun option. They are very true to size. The rain boots that I bought at Walmart when we first moved into the house I bought a women's nine and they were huge 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 on me and I've been wearing them but they're uncomfortable and my foot my heel comes out of them so these are a nine a nine is what I wear and they're not snug they're a perfect fit so I think they're true to size so Brian chose the mid calf rain boots in a green color they are rubber on the bottom with a neoprene shaft and he has really been wearing them since we received them in the mail a week a week ago he wears a size 11 in a tennis shoe and so he went chose to go size down that's been his experience with boots and he said they fit him really well so Brian and Evan picked out the same boots they're kind of twinning Brian's this part is green and Evan or I chose for Evan this little camo they are really really nice and comfortable Evan has worn these around the farm Right now, he is not at all interested in being out here and putting his boots on. I think he's singing with Esme to some music. So if y'all know how kids are, they don't always perform on demand. So he has really loved them. And you'll definitely, if you are a subscriber, you'll definitely see him around the farm in these really cool boots. We have a 15% off promo code. It's Oso Farm. I will put all the details in the description box below. And we would love to hear from you if you have these boots, um, what your experience has been also. We are definitely gonna be ordering a couple more pairs this summer for some of our kids that really are active and help, help us out here on the farm. So thanks so much for hanging out with us this afternoon and seeing our precious babies. We are so thankful that all of them, all 10 of them are doing really well. And as you could see, Luna is a very attentive, sweet, sweet, sweet mama. She is not gonna let anything happen to those babies. So it'll be really fun to watch them grow. We're already getting some interest on our website about potential families. So no matter where you live, if you were in Central Texas, we'd love to answer any questions that you have about Great Pyrenees or about our specific dogs here and we are excited to see and meet their new forever families in the coming weeks. We look forward to chatting with you in the comments and we will see you in the next one. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.